Good morning, Facebook friends and family. Uh, it's Monday, uh, July 9th, and today I wanted to discuss like some of the norms about stepping into being an entrepreneur, um, but some of the fears and whatever to expect. So, you know, I come across this, come, come across this conversation a lot with people, and it's always the same old thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to make money. I don't want to leave my comfort zone. Like, you know, even though I hate it, I hate my job. I hate my job, but I don't want to leave it because heaven forbid I should go like a month or six months or a year um, without the same miserable comfort, you know, attached to me. So, um, I was watching a lot of Gary V, who I really like, you know, he's an entrepreneur and he's really just, just tells it how it is. Um, you know, and he talks a lot about the process of patience, how you have to be patient. And that's really true. And so let me just break down what it means to be patient. Patience isn't necessarily about waiting. It's a, it's a component. You can patiently wait. But patience at its core is really about um, maintaining mental equilibrium regardless of your circumstances. Okay? So like being at peace regardless of what's going on. And t carrying that with you moment to moment to moment so like that's actually what it means to be patient uh, waiting is just something we can we can actively do um, in a patient way but um, or in an anxious way but essentially patience is about maintaining peace regardless of the moment and what 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 um, is in that moment so patience is a huge component and what do people do they're like you know, I have no idea, like, how I'm going to generate, therefore, boom, and now I'm stuck again. Um, the biggest thing that you need to do when you're deciding to leave your job um, or leave your industry or whatever is you have to just accept the fact that, like, you're going to be uncomfortable. Just get used to being uncomfortable and know that that's a part of it. What everyone does, and I did myself, was for a very long time, I kept asking the question, how do I maintain my comfort zone and move forward? Meaning, like, how do I, how do I continue to get jobs in an industry I hate while building the business I want to create? When, for, I would say, the vast majority of us, that's not really an option. We can dabble a little bit in the field we want to go into, but there's going to be a point where it's like if you're going to make your business successful, you have to be 100% available to work on it, right? So there's a gap. There's like that leap you have to take to be like, okay, now I'm here, I'm in it, and I'm focused on doing it. But everyone always asks the question, you know, how can I take with me what I've done? How can I continue to to, you know, I guess maintain this job and move forward. No, <laughs> no, the question you need to ask when you go into uh, working for yourself is not how can I hold on to the past or maintain the past or keep creating the past, but you need to turn around and actually ask the question, okay, what do I need to be successful? What steps do I need to take moving forward? And how can I get to where I want to be? couple of, uh, of hitches that I come across a lot are, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. Of course you don't know what it looks like. And you're not going to know what it looks like until like 30, 40 years from now and you look back. Okay? Because it's going to evolve and change on its own. All you need to know is what you do know. Right? Like, I know that I want to work for myself. I know that I want to uh, serve other people. I know that I want to make a difference. Like, Go with what you do know and work from there. Don't get caught in I don't know because I don't know can can be like a um, can be the ego's way of keeping you on the hamster wheel. So you have to start asking the question like, okay, what do I know and how can I move forward from here? And what do I need to do? And do it. When the clarity comes through, do it. Just do it. You're creating a new pattern in your brain. 
So it's going to be awkward. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's like anytime we go to break a pattern and reintegrate a new one, it's like learning to walk with the opposite foot forward. It's not going to be automatic in the beginning. It's going to feel like you're tripping constantly. Keep going. Um, and then um, some people go, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And that, that keeps them stuck. Go with what you do know. Start with what you do know. And you'll build from there. You don't have to see the full picture. All you need to see is your next step. That's it. Um, you know, we live in this world now where it's like Instagram is everything and everyone's like, oh, you know, I need 100,000 followers to be somebody special, you know, and everyone is always focusing on like the big draw, the big crowd or the big following. Like Instagram, the reason I got off Instagram was what I noticed is that it's a cheap following. People are ADD and they're cheap. They're not willing to actually invest in watching a 10 minute video. They're not willing to read the long article. And this is the average, not everyone. But overall, it's like, it's a cheap following. You know, so some of us might get to the point where we get so many followers that we get sponsored. Okay, like, great, I know that's an option, but for the majority of us, you know, saying that you have 300,000 followers, but you can't monetize it, like, what is that really worth, right? So I wouldn't be focusing on like the quantity. I would be focusing on the quality because regardless of what business you go into, whether you're selling a product or a service, you're going to start with one person. One person will become your, your client. One person will become your your demographic that you end up catering to it's going to start with one person so you can't be so concerned about like drawing in the masses and like i don't want to show up because i don't have a big following how do you think you get a big following you keep showing up okay but you can't be concerned about like the fifty thousand people who aren't listening you need to be concerned with the one person who's paying attention because that's where you're going to build from if I had a physical business, you know, and I were a mason, I would lay one brick at a time, okay? So don't get ahead of yourself and go, but I'm not anyone special and no one wants to follow me. You know, like we live in this world now where things are so like instant that we assume that success is too. And, you know, I spent over the last eight years, seven of those years, seven of those years, building up my business. I've been working on my crafts for 20 years, but I have spent the last seven really building up um, the business side of it and refining my confidence and my courage and stepping into that role so that I could be someone that people follow. And last but not least, okay, like stop assuming that you're gonna get followers or clients from your comfort zone, okay? People don't follow other followers who are insecure about who they are and what they're doing with their life. People who are looking for leadership follow strong, confident leaders. So if you wanna be someone that people follow, you're gonna to have to practice what it means to be a leader and get the fuck out of your comfort zone. I hate to put it so bluntly, but stop clinging and stop fearing if people don't like you. When you step out there onto the stage, yeah, people are not gonna like you. Some will love you and some won't. Do it anyway. Lean in and start speaking to those who do resonate with you and ignore the rest, okay? So, um, yeah. I wanna announce also that like I'm starting a program called The Young Entrepreneur where I will begin working with young entrepreneurs, kids, 18 to 26 who are like, you know, I don't want to go to college. I want to work for myself, but I don't exactly know what that looks like. So if you're interested in that program um, and you really want to develop your life skills and uh, build up who you are so you're ready when opportunity comes your way, then by all means, um, you're who I'm looking for. So anyway, have a fabulous Monday, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye.